There is a very simple way that we can actually try and get traditional media outlets who cover the continent and cover global news in a particular way to rethink how they cover Africa. And it's two words, context and nuance. Because what we find that your average news story could be five, six hundred words and they're trying to get in everything about that subject in there. I'll give you an example of a headline um, and it's not very specific to, to the, the issue, but two years ago or a year ago there was coups in six African countries. Wall Street Journal and Financial Times both had stories, headlines about these coups. And somebody went and they gave them to a series of people to say, look at the headline and tell me how many coups do you think are happening in Africa right now? And most people came back and said there must be over 40 coups happening in Africa. That's because the way the headline was framed. Coups in Africa or disaster in Africa, coups in Africa, as if this whole thing is happening. Whereas often you'll find it's happening in five countries. Don't forget, we have 54 countries on the continent. We can stop with the sensational headlines. Be specific. If you're talking about a country, don't extrapolate that issue to the whole continent because that's where the issues start. The sad thing is that facts don't change people's perceptions. I mean, Hans Rosling, Factfulness, the book, it shows that actually people, you can tell people as many facts as they want, but their underlying belief system dictates what they believe and also how they act on that, which is why I talk about storytelling. You can give people data, as much as data, but find the story underneath, find the individual and bring that data set to life. And for me, that's the most important thing, that you know, an institute like yours that deals in a lot of data, a lot of research, how do you bring it to life for people so that it's not just dry stats and data, which they, they look at it, they read it on an intellectual level, they understand it, but it doesn't really affect their true perceptions. And I feel that when you change people's perceptions, how they think, it influences how they act. And what we want to do is change people's behaviors towards Africa, because their thinking about Africa influences the way they craft their aid policy. It guides how they invest in Africa. We did a report um, about two years ago, which is how African media shows, how Africa shows up in African media. What we found was that if you're sitting in Ghana reading about South Africa, you're reading the same content that somebody sitting in New York or in France is reading because that content comes from AFP, it comes from the BBC, it comes from Reuters. So that you're reading global bad news, that's essentially what it is. And so that's one way that I think that we can do it. Just put more stories out there. Tell better stories and tell stories better. It's little drops in the ocean because that's what you need. Eventually the ocean will change.